Welcome to a video tour of the new Making Awesome Makerspace at 2818 Industrial Plaza Drive in Tallahassee, Florida. We are in the process of moving right now, but before we show you the space, a gentle reminder that you can use the Amazon Smile application to uh, make small donations to Making Awesome automatically. Whenever you shop, uh, go to smile.amazon.com and look for Making Awesome. Well, this is the front door of our new space. It's uh, at 2818 Industrial Plaza Drive. We don't have the sign up yet. We don't have the, uh, the uh, RFID system in yet. Uh, this is the first room in the space. We're calling it the foyer for now. And the foyer is probably where our membership records and our membership desk is gonna be and things like that. Don't know what else will be in here. That's up to the folks that are working on the space and trying to get it organized. This used to be a, um, uh, scientific instrument manufacturer and uh, some of their stuff is still in here. They're moving it out uh, uh, this uh, week and uh, getting the space uh, ready for us to move in. This room will be our jewelry room and uh, one of the cool things about this space is it comes with a few tools including this awesome Sailrite industrial sewing machine. Uh, it's a really nice industrial sewing machine. We're very happy to have it and uh, we will be uh, telling you more about that in the future. Going down the hall, here's something that you haven't noticed in Making Awesome in the past, a real bathroom, where we have two of them actually. Uh, next is a communications closet, and we do have the space already wired uh, for uh, network. However, uh, we're going to need to have these lines uh, rung out and make sure they're in good shape. If anybody has a TDR and can help with that project, please contact Diana Moore, who is the... Uh, the IT lead for the makerspace and um, yeah it's pretty cool so um, this is the communications closet this is a small 12 by 12 room we don't know exactly what's going to happen in this room yet however one of the ideas being tossed around is uh, making this be a private space for um, a member who'd like to have their own space and uh, return for uh, a slightly uh, higher uh, monthly fee uh, for making awesome uh, if you need an office or a private workspace uh, please be in touch with the board uh, this room here is uh, was a little bit messed up when we got it some of the wallpaper was off the wall you can see the radiation signs that's because they were testing x-ray and uh, equipment in this room uh, the old company that was in here and it does have 30 amp uh, 110 electrical service which is good because we have uh, some UPS uh, equipment for our computer rack and needs a 30 amp place to plug in and it's a whole lot cheaper to use what's there than to put something else new in. This room is getting painted. Yes, there's the sign. And uh, thanks to Karen Lowen and a bunch of volunteers who have been getting this space ready and they're going to try to uh, get it cut in uh, just in the next couple days. This next room we're tentatively calling the training room. It's a, uh, a nice paneled room. It has a linoleum floor. It has an acoustic ceiling. Uh, and we are uh, working on getting this room ready. It needs a little bit of work. We'll put the, uh, the screen and the projector in here on our training tables in here, at least for the time being, and uh, see how that works out. The room has plenty of electrical outlets. It has uh, data lines going into it, no problem at all. Outside of that room is this big room here. Uh, which has a linoleum floor and it has a floor drain in it. So uh, no idea what this room will be used for yet, but we'll find out. Uh, that door, well, there's two doors, three doors out of this room, but this door goes into the kitchen. We kind of passed by it before, but this space does have a uh, kitchen in it, which is pretty nice. And uh, we're moving our little bit of kitchen equipment over from the old space in the next few days. Uh, don't know about the refrigerator. What do you think? Should we move the big refrigerator over here or not? There is a little dorm refrigerator in here already. So that room to the right is a training room. Back here in the back is a room that um, that I think at one time was used to uh, process, manufacture, or printed circuit boards. Uh, thanks to Will, uh, our facilities manager, who got in here with... TSP and cleaned the place up the other day went above and beyond uh, you know what was expected of folks to uh, get this place clean and ready to go we're gonna have to do some, maybe some painting in here or something to get it ready before we use it it does have ventilation 
which is a nice uh, a nice feature something we didn't have in the old space if you're interested in helping with this project please be in touch info at makingawesome.org uh, we need a lot of help moving and uh, there's stuff posted on the on the facebook page well this is a surprise <laughs> this is our new machine shop and uh, it consists of equipment that was uh, that belongs to the owner of the sp of the building. Uh, they've moved out. They're closed their business down. They've moved out, and so uh, they're making this equipment available to us. There's some equipment you haven't seen before in here, uh, at at makers at our maker space anyway. Um, there's a nice drill press, um, some uh, some grinders. This is uh, I think a surface grinder here. And we have um, belt sander, which is really nice, a big one. And two, I count them, two milling machines, sort of like what we have in the old space, but uh, these have DROs and auto feeds and stuff like that. Really, really nice machines. Uh, the only deal about this room is that it is not, you do not automatically get access to this room if you are a member of the space. You have to make sure that you've completed uh, safety training and you've completed uh, gotten approval of the uh, of the machine shop uh, manager we'll tell you more about him later before you use this space so that's uh, now also in this space another bathroom yes we have bathrooms galore in the new space so shop sink in this space back behind that curtain is an optical comparator and then back in the back back here is the utility room it has a big uh, compressor which is got lines going to many of the other parts of the space and the power panels. It's also where the uh, Comcast uh, cable line comes in. It looks like we'll be getting Comcast internet in the new space, so uh, stay, uh, you know, stay in touch on that. And uh, let's see, the last room, the last uh, room on the main floor, yes, there's two floors. The last room on the main floor is out these double doors here at the front of the building. and. Uh, this is the future wood shop, and we'll be moving into this in the next couple of weeks. Uh, right now, there's some um, work being done on the fluorescent lights. Uh, they need new ballasts, and so uh, the owner is, uh, has arranged to get those fixed. There is a big um, metal shear in this room. We're not sure what to do with it because it's taken up space that we don't really have in this room. The room's, room's going to be tight for the wood shop, so we need some help figuring out about this. If we keep it, where we keep it, etc., etc., etc. So uh, please, um, you know, please be in touch. This is the garage door. It has a problem right now. The uh, there's two problems. We're hopefully having a a garage, a garage door mechanic come and check them out really soon. And then uh, that's the door into the foyer. And then there's this uh, set of stairs. We'll talk about them in just a second. But this set of stairs goes up to the second floor, and the second floor is unfinished attic space with a load-bearing floor, and it is right now uh, full of electron microscopes uh, that belong to the, uh, to the owner of the building. Uh, those are for sale. As soon as those are moved out, we'll have access to some of this space. We want to do a little work, uh, reinforce that safety rail, and do some other stuff before we, uh, we actually, um, actually start using that space upstairs. Right now, the space is not ours, and it's off limits um, to, um, to um, to our members right now. Well, that's the space. Uh, please, if you want to be part of the fun of uh, moving and organizing the new space, please check out the Facebook uh, site, and we'll uh, go ahead and be keeping uh, uh, postings in there about the about the new uh, about the new space and work days and so on. Uh, it's at uh, at Facebook. Look for the group Making Awesome. And that's it. Uh, my name's Dave. I appreciate you uh, kind of looking at our site. Don't forget, smiledonamazon.com. You can find um, Making Awesome when you search for it. If you make any purchases on Amazon using the Smile site, a half of a percentage of your sale goes to us, and uh, or some sales anyway. And, you know, it's a small but uh, significant uh, part of a revenue stream. Thank you so much.